Welcome to another box opening with Avram and Donovan at Adventures, Adventures in Comics, Comics and Games. So what are we doing new today, Donovan? Well, we're opening up the second box of Streets of New Capenna set boosters. Set boxes have been pretty hot. A lot of people pull on a lot of good list cards. We, have, we opened one box up so far. Go check out that video. And it was a pretty, pretty nice pack. We had a borderless bootlegger st uh, stash and a uh, Ooh, box topper on a box topper. It was a bootlegger stash and an exquisite blood from the list. So it's, that's, you know, pretty good. Yep, yep they have the... the... Yep, that's the Japanese burner. Let me try using... It's been a while since there's been pull tabs. I'm in... I'm impressed. It, they started when they started doing a lot of the early release product from the Japanese printer. All the Japanese printer have the uh, the pull tab. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. All right. I think I might just go back to cutting. Yeah. All right. Art card. Land on. And some commons. Uncommons. We got some showcases. We got a rare and foil, then token. So yeah, I think I'm gonna. You're interested in boxes of new Capenna, uh, Definitely call us for availability to see what we have. Uh, that's looking like it's getting pretty popular, but we do have a good amount of stuff coming in. Hopefully, we're able to take care of you for pricing because this video is coming out a week after release, I believe. Uh, yeah, just call the shop to see for availability and pricing because I have no clue what we're going to do. We always do the best we can and we try to keep it in stock as long as possible. Yeah. When we do adjust pricing, it's usually very close to our pre-order pre pricing. And our pre-order pricing is always like the cheapest. Like It is the best lot. value that you can find without going really far yeah. to do it. I mean, we can't guarantee... That we're always lower than everyone else, but we typically yeah, are. Yeah, generally, we are. This is a very expensive game to keep up on, and we want to make it as affordable as possible for you. How can we take care of you if you can't afford to play? Exactly. You can bring in your extra stuff for trade towards this as well, and we want big or small. We want it all. With other stuff, I'm going to let Donovan take over. He's got this down pat. Um, I'm just a cut up. <laughs> so yeah, if you have extra stuff that you don't want anymore, collections, uh, big or small, we want it all. Even if it's something that you think that we don't want, we probably do. Just bring it in or contact us and we'll go from there. We'll work out a deal and see what we can do to take care of you the best that we can. Uh, we're here for you. And you know, if you help us out, we help you out. It's just the circle of life. <laughs> yeah, that's literally we are here for you yeah we wouldn't be here without the support of our community and we want to support our community yes yeah. and we appreciate it so much we've been bringing more and more improvements to the store um we have amazing staff yeah. this is so super happy to see you walk in the door um and just you know let us know what we can do for you and things are you know they're picking up uh people are showing up to events again people have been drafting again on wednesdays at 6 30. We have a pretty good popper community on Tuesdays at six thirty. And popper is amazing because you don't have to buy rares. Yep. Uh, Nothing rotates. We also do a popper cube once a month with salt and popper. And it's free. Yep. You just don't get to keep the the cards because they're, uh, they're gentlemen. Chads, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're chads. He brings them. We get to draft out of his cube. We get a promo pack for just for showing up. Mm -hmm. It is limited to ten people though, so get on the list early because that will fill up quick. And then um, you get additional prizes if you do well enough. Yep. And yeah, it's it's a super fun time. I, I did went to the last cube and it was super. That fun. was really I cool really to see it. you there. I've been making it as as many times as I can. It's just so much fun. All the cards are 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 do something. You know, there is no vanilla, vanilla, and he's always updating it with the new releases. So with this release, he's going to be changing it up again. Yep. Um. Other than that, like. There's a ton of uh, things coming up for the shop. Uh, we have the Commander Legends Baldur's Gate pre-release coming up in June. It's going to be draft. I can't yeah, believe it. Draft pre-release, which is going to be interesting. It's also multiplayer. 
Yeah, so you're, you're building gonna... a sixty card commander deck out of the packs, and then you're playing in a pot of four, ideally. Uh, and then uh, we also have pre-orders coming after that. We'll be posting about those. They should actually be That's out confusing. by confusing. It's a list card from a commander set. Yeah. Almost put it in the commander pile. <laughs> um, and then we also have the qualifier event coming up. Oh my god, Pro Tour's back! Yep, for the Pro Tour. We have been approved for it. We're just waiting for the date to be approved. We want to make sure there's no conflicts with other stores. We want to make sure we give our community of Sacramento as many chances to qualify as possible. Yeah, and uh, you can get weekly practice here on Thursdays. That's yep. just so awesome. Yeah, our event's going to be Pioneer. Whatever the uh, the the uh, regional qualifier is going to be, we're going to do the same format as that. We'll always support it. And if people yeah. want to continue to play that format... After that, we will just keep it on the schedule and we'll just make it, you know, we'll make it work. We want to cover and support what you want to play. Yeah. Let us know what we can do for you. Yeah, it's super exciting. I'm, I, I love Pioneer. I'm uh, working on my deck right now. I'm debating between the two. I I have a majority of the stuff for both of them, but it's just like, hmm, which way do I go? Between is it Phoenix and is it Control? Well. I know Chris is planning to play a uh, Mardu Grease thing. That deck's pretty sweet. I haven't saw, seen that yet. What's what's it do? Uh, so you, you like mill or discard uh, Arkelion. Uh, two into the graveyard. The, the oh, I think I did see that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I met it on my chin. <laughs> uh, I stopped it repeatedly with my chin. That's why I barely remember it because I think I was unconscious at one point. It was quite, uh, quite aggressive. Yep. Um, yeah, it's just you grease thing brings it back from the graveyard and then you get to crew it and then you, you swing with it. You do a ton of it, like 13 damage or something like that. And it leaves behind two angels, which is nuts. So yeah, that's just like, all right. Well, I just did thirteen flying damage. Oh, well, rough look, rough decay. That's just like, all right. Well, that's a ton of damage right there. And I've also got uh, blockers because they they have vigilance. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty crazy value. Oh, guild of foil, another Roko. Very nice. Very People are excited about that card. It combos with food chain. Ooh, food chain combo. Let's. I've heard that one before. Yeah. Sweet EDH things that you can do. Yep. That's a great thing. Every set now is really considering how do they support the various formats. Not just standard. Not just commander, but even you know pioneer and popper. They've reprinted stuff that wasn't in Popper previously, and they're like, no, this will fit. This will work. You Speaking know? of Popper, uh, for, in this set, they downshifted uh, Corrupt Port Official nice. from P3K from an uncommon to a common in the set. So that makes it Popper legal now, and it's just another Chittering Rats. Oh, wow. Oh. Discard, 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 discard. Make a deck called Eight Rats. Yes. Eat rats. Rah. So they need to downshift Black Vice to common. Ha ha ha. Then you, you sit down and start playing the deck and people will be like, oh, rats. Oh, rats. Oh, there's another uh, Secret Lair uh, Stranger Things card. Yeah, it, lo it looks like on average it's like three or four of those in a box. Oh, 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 stamp signed E thing. Art, those art cards are beautiful, and people are collecting them. We uh, pick them up, we ship them out. Yep, people do buy them. Pleasant surprise. Um, and they're just so beautiful. It's another, another neat way to collect your favorite artist or uh, card. Seen both. Oh, Kess? Oh, no, that's not Kess. Master of the Wild Hunt. This card was always bonkers to play. Oh, so good.
Let's see here. We've got hmm. yeah. There's a lot of cards in the set that I have not gotten to read yet. I've all. I also haven't memorized all the alternate arts, so I'm just like, oh, it's that. Oh, that's that card. So let's see here. Alright, let's see. We're down like the last like, what? Five? Uh, it's it, it's still a few more. There's still a handful. Any other announcements? Huh? Let's go over our total tournament schedule. Yeah, so we were saying uh, Tuesdays is Popper at 6.30. We've got Draft and Standard on Wednesdays at 6.30. Pioneer at 6.30 on Thursdays. We have a Commander Tournament on uh, Fridays at 6.30. And then we have Commander Open Play basically all Saturday as long as people are here. It starts up like we usually have a pretty good crowd like as we open like they're coming in through the door so <laughs> and it's it's a fun time I usually make it out myself oh nice Elspeth oh and Captain uh, Admiral Captain Beckett Beckett Brass, Brass. Yeah. I, kept, I wanted to call it Larry so much the other oh <laughs> the other legendary pirate let's see Oh, full art lands are just so beautiful. Yeah. I'd love to see an Omnixilis in these last packs. Or another bootleg. Or a Phyrexian foil or something. Yeah. Something, something cool. Not that these cards aren't cool, but like something, you know, something like super, super shiny. Oh, that's Rosie the Brimateer. Yeah. Yes, it is. Oops. Oops. It's just a card. Yeah. And such beautiful art cards. And... Wow. Corpse Appraiser. Oil Structural Assault. Oh, nice. A uh, list for uh, Yugen. Yugen! Yugen! All right. Oh, Zeotora, the incinerator. Yes. Racer's ring. Foil. Uh... Showcase. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty nice. Wow. Sack draw a card, but still. Mana fixing that draws a card later when you have plenty of land out. That's super value. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good in draft. <laughs> or I should say. Even in constructed, too, because you need more value out of what you're doing. Last pack. Oh, there's a trial. Love, love trilands, foil, and that. Wow, that is great, fun, good value across the board on all of the, new, the streets of New Capenna that we opened. And we really appreciate you joining us. Remember to like and subscribe so you get notifications when we post new videos. Yep. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.